the 15th Congress of WFTU held on the 4th and 5th of December 2005 in Havana, Cuba, was the cornerstone of the new ambitious initiation of the World Federation of Trade Unions. During this Congress, a new leadership was elected and new goals and resolutions were made. The clear order given by the Congress was reconstitution and action. Action, action, action. Action within the working places, within the basic sectors, within every particular country, inside the international organizations. Our action should be spread everywhere, in alliance with the workers against the capital and imperialism. Action along with the youth, the women, the immigrants, the pensioners. One of the first decisions the Secretariat made was the transfer of the headquarters in Athens, the capital of Greece. We are here since January 2006. At first we were three people, and now we are ten people working for the WFTU in the central offices. I am a computer engineer, and I, I work for WFTU since December 2005. Soy española y trabajo en la FCM desde hace tres años. I am Nikos Kavanjonis, and I work for WFTU in the field of technical support. I'm Alexandra, I'm a professional journalist. I work for WFU for more than a year and I'm responsible for the press room. The first international trade union conference on the subject, the social phenomenon of immigration in the 21st century, that held in Brussels, Belgium. European conference on the 120 years of Labor Day, the rights of youth and immigrants held in Athens, Greece. The Internationalist Solidarity Events Towards the People of Lebanon. The activities at ILO in Geneva, at ILO Plenary. During 2006, we released many important publications of posters, leaflets, and we hosted dozens of delegations at our central offices. We participated in numerous congresses and labor mobilizations. In 2007, the Presidential Council elaborated and published a serious document called Platform, which described the fundamental principles, priorities and targets of WFTU. The meeting of working women was successful and many women trade unionists participated. We organized the protests outside the WTO offices in Geneva, as well as the European Trade Union Conference about Darfur. WFTU signed a protocol of cooperation and solidarity with ICATU and CTC of Cuba. Our presence at the Trade Unionist Forum of Beijing is strengthening. WFTU organized the first international symposium of Arabic European trade union organizations jointly with ICATU. We are present during each ILO meeting in every continent. WFTU organized numerous seminars in all continents concerning water, trade union rights, decent work, child labor, Africa trade union movement, etc. In Lisbon, we organized successfully our first initiative in Portugal after many years. The subject was globalization and the consequences of the economic crisis on workers' rights and the role of class-oriented trade union movements. We played the leading role at the initiatives of Nuestra America and at the region of Latin America. These days, our representative in FAO in Rome, in UNESCO in Paris, in UN in New York, are more cooperative with the WFTU leadership. In Vietnam, in Cairo, in Beijing, in Nepal, in Middle East, in Geneva, in ILO, WFTU is strengthening on an organizational level. We have created new TUIs in crucial sectors, in metal industry, in hotels and tourism, and many important sectorial congresses are taking place, in particular in energy, in teachers, in agriculture, food and commerce, in building industries. Our regional offices reinforce and improve their cooperation with the headquarters. Collectivity is gradually enforced. <music> On the
On the 1st of April of 2009, the International Action Day of WFTU is organized in more than 45 countries. Strikes, demonstrations, conferences from the new militant profile of the class trade union movement in the national level. In Lima, Peru, along with CGTP, we made a new big organizational trade union step. The inaugural international conference on working youth had great success with the participation of 25 countries from all continents. The conference concluded with the election of a coordination committee. Many conferences like this followed in regions and in continents. We celebrated in Vietnam the 80 years of VGCL, in Geneva the 50 years of Cuban Revolution. We started the campaign Stop the Monopoly with an ILO. We welcomed high-level delegates in the headquarters. From the heroic Ho Chi Minh city of Vietnam, the holding of the 16th WFTU Congress was announced. The preparation for its success began. The Congress was openly discussed with workers. Posters, materials, announcements, press releases were published. At the same time, regional and sectoral meetings were organized. The 65 years since the foundation of WFTU were celebrated with militant move. A European trade union meeting on social security in Europe was held in Athens. The trade union meeting of young workers was held in Panama City. In June, a three-day solidarity strike to the Palestinian people was organized against Israel commercial vessels in the ports of all around the world. Solidarity events to the fighting people of Costa Rica, France, Greece, everywhere. On the 7th of September, the International Action Day of WFTU was successfully organized again in tens of countries, sectors and working places. Seminars, conferences, tens of bilateral meetings, hospitality of delegates. Action and pressure inside international organizations. A new TUI in the sector of bank and security was founded in New Delhi. A new regional office was founded in Johannesburg in South Africa. Present at the revolts in North Africa and in the countries of Maghreb. All this action brought 89 new members to WFTU in the five last years. All this action brought 1,700 pages of proposals on the 16th Congress from around the world. This is why we're optimistic that the 16th Congress in Athens is going to be an open, democratic, uniting, and class-oriented Congress of Workers, and it will be a positive step for the workers all around the world.